Aloha, this is Herbo Te Jr. Coming from Honolulu, Hawaii on the beautiful island of Oahu with a backdrop of Honolulu and Diamond Head. And uh, I'll be performing um, songs on the ukulele today. And uh, I hope you folks enjoy my experience and my love for Hawaiian music and the ukulele music. So the first time I'd like to perform for you was written by Queen Lili Kalani, our last reigning monarch here. And uh, she wrote this song while she was in house arrest at Iolani Palace. And she wrote this song dedicated to a boy that delivered flowers to her every day, wrapped with a daily newspaper. So she couldn't read what was going on outside of her palace. So here's a song called Kuupua Ipau Kalani. <laughs> You know, playing the ukulele uh, has allowed me to travel the world and perform in front of people and make new friends. And um, on one tour to Japan, I was in the hotel lobby uh, waiting for a fellow musician and I, I was missing home. It was a long tour and uh, I was missing the beach. I was missing the, the sun, the blue skies. Because when I went to Tokyo while we were touring, all we had was gray skies. And if you look beyond the horizon, all you seen was sky line, more tall buildings. So I was missing home and I was imagining uh, my daughter and um, you know kids just playing on the sand with their fluorescent colored buckets and shovels, making things out of, you know, in the sand. And uh, so I wrote this song called Sand Castles. Enjoy.
For this next song, um, I used to perform on the island of Maui every weekend um, at a restaurant called The Hula Grill, right on Kaanapali Beach. And uh, at that time, I was asked to write a song and perform a song like Hawaiian slacky guitar for a Japan television commercial promoting Hawaii. So I wrote this song, and I hope you folks enjoy it, Kaanapali Sunset. In between travels, um, I used to go and uh, visit a uh, care home uh, close to Diamond Head, which is back here. And it was called Leahi Hospital. And uh, on one of the visits, uh, I was playing for the residents, and I asked them if they wanted to hear something new or if they had a request. And they requested for me to play something new. I didn't know how to take that because it's probably because they were tired of the songs that I was performing and they wanted something different. So uh, on tour in Arizona, I was listening to a lot of 70s music and um, it inspired me to write this song. I didn't have a title for it, but because I played it for them first at Leahi Hospital, I entitled it Leahi Morning. 
goes like this. For this next song, uh, I would like to introduce to you a very busy man, uh, probably the most well-known ukulele player all over the world, uh, Mr. Jake Shimabukuro. He'll be joining me for a medley of two traditional Hawaiian songs, Wailai and Ahilau Makani. Enjoy.
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jake Shimabukuro. And Jake, um, thanks for coming by. And uh, please explain to everyone how you got started. Well, you know, I started playing the ukulele when I was four years old. Actually, Herb was one of my teachers when I was older, <laughs> not when I was four. But my mom was my first teacher. But I have to say that if it weren't for Herb's dad, you know, the legendary Otasan, I wouldn't be playing the ukulele today. I mean, he was my biggest inspiration. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's well, one thing too. we have in common. <laughs> well, one of many things that we have in common, but one of yeah. them is definitely we both wouldn't be playing today if it weren't for your dad. But, you know, um, Jake is a very busy um, artist. Um, he's a devoted dad and a devoted husband. And I uh, would like to thank you oh, for thank spending you. time with us today um, out of your busy schedule. Oh, um, thank you for it. It's an, always an honor. To and anytime, um, please go check him out at jakeshimabukuro.com for his tour schedule. And he's probably going to visit one of your hometowns uh definitely because he goes everywhere <laughs> so uh go check him out and support jake and I'd like to thank you all mahalo thank you thanks herb aloha again this is herbal to junior and i hope you enjoyed my performances today and i'd like to uh especially thank mr jake shimabukuro for joining me and playing a duet with me um he's a busy man but um you know i just hope that the ukulele continues to grow and I hope with this performance and being showcased in your concert series that it helps uh, promote the instrument and it promotes Hawaiian music and Hawaii culture and uh, hopefully one day we all can travel freely well not free it's expensive but freely where meaning you know we don't have to worry about the pandemic and COVID and but um, until then um, well, I hope you folks take care and stay healthy so I would like to dedicate this song to all of you who is watching um, this song is more associated with Judy Garland with the Wizard of Oz but here is my rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow Aloha